Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. There is something that makes relationships stop growing. Or rather, I should say, when something stops existing in a relationship, then the relationship stops growing and causes the relationship to fall apart. And that something, metaphorically speaking, acts like a thread that stitches together the lives of the people that are part of the relationship. So it's better to say, what is that thread that stitches together the people, the couple, that keeps them close with each other? Well, we have our individual needs. Some of them get fulfilled, others fall apart. Every time our needs fall apart, we get disappointed. And disappointments often are like a pair of scissors, cutting the thread. So what is that thread? Well, to me, that thread are the needs. The needs we bring into the relationship. And I will give you an example of a couple that I met a long time ago. The bride had a strong need. She wanted she and her husband to buy a home, a small one, but to buy a home to raise their families, their family. She had that need because growing up she was moving from house to house, from neighborhood to neighborhood, and as a little girl she was dreaming for the day that will have the ability to have her own family raised in one home. She had shared that dream with the man that became her husband. Her husband, on the other hand, before they got married, was quiet, not disagreeing, but quiet. And maybe she assumed that he was in agreement to get a home and start their lives, their families, inside that house. He was quiet because owning a home was not his priority. He wanted someday to save money and buy the big house the million dollar house and he was willing to spend until then time renting. As you probably understand, when she realized that he had no intentions on meeting her needs, slowly but surely she started not trusting him with having a family with him, with having children. He looked at that as being wrong and selfish, that she only cared about her needs and not his need. Little by little, the relationship started unraveling. The thread was cut. They could no longer see the relationship being a place where their needs could be placed and fulfilled. It's very important to be aware and respectful of each other's needs and look for ways, compromising ways, to honor those needs. They themselves 
many years later, they got back together and they felt bad for two reasons, that nobody had helped them to figure out a way to meet a compromise so that they will stay together. And they realized that sometimes when needs are not being met, the tendency of withdrawing and removing self from the relationship is a knee jerk that can only lead to a bad place. Knee jerk reactions are a byproduct of disappointment, present and past. And we need never to let them define our steps we need to take to resolve an uncomfortable, bad situation we are faced with. Our couple, what could have done when they saw that they had opposite needs? Probably you guessed it, but we are going to talk about it on Friday. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay-whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.